Yeah, we live. We live. I thought I wasn't going to stand up for what I believe in. Uh, oh, guess who's back? Oh, I'm real. Yeah, I'm for God. So you're mad at me, huh? Because I just voiced my opinion. Well, catch me in Miami laughing at y'all like I'm a minion. I black with a thief. I ignored him. I've cheated. I smoked fat and sold drugs. Satan had me defeated. But let me tell y'all one thing. I never ever judged y'all. So let me plant this up. No matter what, I would still love y'all. But why y'all throwing to me? Because I stood up for what I believe in. God took the stand for y'all lifestyle. I'm going to take a stand for his kingdom. It's a spiritual war going on. Don't really see what's going on. Satan's gotten a mask on. He won't be happy until we are calm. Black taking black lives. Bow. Police shooting us down. Bow. People burning down churches. What? Taking Christians out. Dang. Pastors can't say no. Cause nah. this law for same nah. sex marriage. Nope. Lord, I know you look shaking your head, feeling embarrassed. Bam. I know this wasn't your plan. plan. Surely wasn't your intentions. Nope. So I'm down on my knees, begging you, Lord, for your forgiveness. We live life so disrespectful and taking your name for granted. We need faith the size of a mustard seed, and now is the time to plan it. But Christians won't stand up. They rather sit back quiet. Losing hope and lost of faith, feeling there's no point in trying. But somebody got to stand up. You die for me, time to man up. They won't seek your word or speak the truth. Redefine your word and say that's the truth. Don't y'all hear what I speak to you? God Choosing me to speak to you. I'm eating good, try to live healthy, and just want to share this Jesus fruit. The rainbow is his promise, not to flood the world with water. But the way things are looking, he's coming back to get us in order. With no date and no time, no weight and no line. But if your name ain't in that book, the life don't look stupid, you know why. I spit nothing but the realness. Flow sick, I'm the illness. You can't see what the real is. The paralyzed is going to feel this. So open your eyes, just see the truth from start to finish. The old and new, but the only way God will believe is He comes, sits, and eats with you. I just want ball for Christ, like Duke Ball in March Madness. This world is filled with madness. Revelation said this what happened. So I changed clothes like a dressing room. Trying to live in heaven, now that's the move. People pointing fingers saying that's a fool, while I'm pointing Christ saying that's the proof. Y'all can judge me, I never judge you. I do me, y'all do you. I follow Christ like He on Instagram. Keep praying for this world like I'm supposed to Never stay quiet about my belief nope. Just sit and watch what's happening nope. I'ma stand up and yeah. stand tall And speak the truth about my king I'm gone <laughs> I thought that was on the job for me I had to do it <laughs> hey, yo, that was grind hard, freedom of speech. You know what I'm saying? It was some good old fashioned Christian. I mean, good, good old fashioned, but it was some Christian rap. You know, we all, it's a balance to this whole thing. You know, you can't have one without the other. You know, we have a lot of music that supports and promotes negativity and misogyny and sex and money and drugs and everything else. So, um, for the brother to come out and, like you say, speak to what he believe in, shout out to grind hard. Yeah, shout out to my auto, man. That was that was dope. dope track, man. I like that. Yeah, that, that was real good <laughs> music, man. I, I had, like uh, I say, man, it's, it's, uh, y'all bear with me, man. My dog, my dogs is on something, man. But uh, real quick, what it do? What it do? Yo, live from the pit that don't give a shit at the end this of two thousand motherfucking twenty. So I go ahead, step. Yeah, damn, 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 he called my name wrong, man. This is fuck your opinion. The no, podcast. It's all good. With, with your man 2K Dan. I'm Don Gotti Nash. And your man Step Lover, man. We back in the building, man. It's a New Year's Eve edition. 2020 about to be done. Let's Don't pray that we can make it live a from the pray. motherfucking pit. That's right. Live from the motherfucking pit. 2020. We've been here all year standing strong against all odds. The Fuck Your Opinion podcast. I just got had to get live with that right quickly. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we got to salute ourselves at the end of the year, fellas, because you know what I'm saying? We went through that same ups and downs as everybody else in this, you know, in this world during this time. Step, you know, you had to recover from COVID. 
um, you know, do things to, to protect yourself and your family. So we bit we felt every bit of this year. You know what I'm saying? But um, to our loyal people who who reach out and watch and and join our show, fuck your opinion the podcast. 2020, we about to walk through this door and go into 2021. That's all I got to say, brother. Mr. Appreciate you. We appreciate you definitely. Yeah, man. Appreciate y'all, man. You know, let me, do let me answer our question though. Mm-hmm. Y'all think we're gonna creep about this out this joint, you know, smoothly or how many hours we got? We got about how many hours we got, man? Uh two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. We this hope that we, I'm hoping we ain't got no uh Disasters going on, no explosions, no man, yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing messed up, man. Let's just everybody hey, li- listen. This is for real. This is one of the new years. No one is gonna forget because I've been watching media, you know. I watch news, social media. Everybody is on duck and cover for this shit. They'll be like, everybody they ask, man, what you gonna do? Everybody like, man, I'm about to get some wings or some pieces. I'm just going in the house. <laughs> this one of them years, ain't nobody told me, yeah, man, we down here, we jamming out. Nobody, everybody's like, man, I'm going home. Happy New Year, Grandma. She said, Grandma she's... watching, we got to behave ourselves. Grandma watching, what's going on, Grandma? How you feeling tonight? Happy New Year's. Tell Pop we on our best behavior. Yeah, we love We, we always love on our best behavior. We respectfully always on, we always our, on best our best behavior. behavior but, uh, you we know, always on our best behavior. But, uh, but yeah, man. This shit had everybody. I'm telling you, this is the New Year's that everybody wants to keep. The whole world is trying to push this motherfucking. Hell here, man. We gotta get about yeah. here. here. This shit right here was no bueno. No bueno, man. You know, people. No even the good bueno. things that happened in 2020 can't even be remembered by the shit that was the bad. You know what I'm saying? If somebody tell you any what's good in 2020, you couldn't really tell them, even though things have happened that are good. Um. It could be looked at as, as positive. We ain't, you know, nobody's gonna feel this when other than with how it feels right now, man. That's just crazy. But you know, but I said everybody, like I said, everybody tucked in, man. 2020 got everybody tucked in. I know some people still having parties though. It's motherfuckers out there that's always willing to break it. It's always, yeah, it's always, it's always it's, it's always one. <laughs> yeah. Couple of them. Right, it's it's a few it's a few private parties, man. I'm trying to say, yeah, hey, uh, <laughs> wings, Tito, and greens. Yeah, right, you know what I'm saying? saying? Wings, Tito, and, and greens. God damn it, yeah. that's, uh, that's a good combination, Will. Hey, even Puff Daddy came out and put something on social media saying he was canceling his party. Like even the celebrity parties who always throw the big, you know, end of the year jams. Even they like, man, everybody threw their hands up. COVID got everybody taking the knee right now in the corner, <laughs> taking the knee like. But can you ma- you imagine a minimum puff party like like you know what I'm saying like you know it it ain't no it ain't no complete shutdown right man. it's no it's no <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, no yeah. such thing as a minimum puff party yeah, yeah minimum joint yeah it, I'm saying without him going doing this regular shit just imagine him just sitting around the house this party that shit live as a motherfucker you think you think, yeah. you think he's still screaming take that what's that you think he's still screaming take that take that oh yeah yeah, yeah from yeah. from six feet take that take that from six feet take that take that take that from six feet. Hey, but serious, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Everybody, you know, and if you know the best one thing I seen about 2020, it exposed a lot of stars. Uh we people not stars, a lot, a, lot of fam- a lot of famous, yeah, a lot of people, but famous people. You know how you know most of the rappers and entertainers, we never seen them looking like old men. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now so this year you've been seeing a lot of gray beards, all gray. You're like, wait, wait a minute. When did motherfucking puppy? Start looking like Sean Connery instead of Sean Combs and shit. Oh he be right, looking all right. he be like this motherfucker looking gray as shit on top. Then next week, Puffy come out, he all jet black. You like, oh okay. Yeah, so it's a lot of motherfuckers passing around head club for men. Even Will Smith, everybody start looking like every black man started looking like Obama at the end of his presidency, um, in the year twenty twenty. Samuel so, Jackson and uh, what, 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 uh Django. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. Hey, yeah, they, they never look old. I, it could be a nuclear holocaust, bombs go off and everything, and Sam Jackson still look like he's 70 years old, or he still look like he's 40 years old. He, 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 already, he, he already took the L, so, you know, once you take that ball head L, man, you good. Everybody yeah, else, just, everybody, else, yeah, yeah, everybody else just stopped. Everybody else is catching up with you, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they'll catch up with you and you'll pass them. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, no bullshit, man. Hey, you, know, you know what we should have did when we started the show, or before the show, when we, we you know, Went through what we were gonna do and how we were gonna do things. We should have looked up 
and seeing how many babies were, were uh, you know, conceived because of the COVID, how many new relationships was, was born, you know, how many relationships ended. Because, you know, being inside, man, listen, you learn a lot about a lot of different things, man. And, you know, you learn a lot about yourself, you know, because you talk yeah. to yourself a lot. I've been talking to my animals a lot, goddamn. And, um, <laughs> you talking yeah, to yourself, man? You be talking to yourself, man? I'm talking about, I said my animals, nigga. I ain't saying nothing about talking to myself. I said my animals. No, that was the first thing you said. That The first thing you said oh, was, I, I was talking to myself. I was thinking out loud. And I <laughs> He's thinking out loud about you. Talk. See, that's the hit. It makes, <laughs> hey, that's how far this shit has gotten, Step. Hmm. Step, was, Step was talking to himself and thinking out loud about it. And it, and it you know came out. And Step didn't have more freedom than me and Don the whole COVID. Step been on time in a few places, so. You man, know, but I went, I went out of town a couple times, man. But it was still yeah. locked down, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah, I got you, bro. It's always, it's all good. But hey, like I said, 2020, man, a year of experiences and shit that ain't nobody gonna forget. Hey, Mike, uh, Twin, uh, Mike Twin said, uh, "What's going on, fellas? Happy New Year's. Make Happy sure." New Year. Oh yeah, sure. Now you got our shit on lock, bro. Yeah, you can't share it from the group. You can share it from. He probably in the group. You Man, can share no, it from my page no, or your page. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he, he, yeah, you even, yeah. Where he, at? he on Facebook. Yeah, he on Facebook. If he He's on Facebook, he, he, you can't share it from the group. You got to share it from either my page or your page or Dan page. Because I shared this shit to you, but you can't. Yeah, you can't share it from the group. Hey, what's up, Cuz? Savage Taz in the building. Savage what's up, with Taz, what's what's up Happy New Year's, Hey yo, shout out, happy new year. Shout out to happy all the guests we had too. These new, this, uh, over the year, all the people that came on Fuck Your Opinion the podcast, all our guests uh, came and let them share their ideas, product, movies, clothes, everything. Man, you know, thank y'all for stopping in, man, and uh, joining the group, man, and keep and, and rocking with us like always. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Tavish. Uh, Savage Taz, man. Savage, Savage, Savage Taz. I know, man. <laughs> that's, that's man. You know, Savage, sometimes Savage, man. Savage actually held, 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 held it down a couple of times, man. On the yeah, list. yeah. Shout out to Savage yeah. Taz. You know, hey, I just started my party a little early. I got a little. Uh, can't Washington show y'all. I'll get that. I, I got me a little air. Thing, a little thing. This nigga like got the straw in the joint, God. Look at him. Got a little thing. <laughs> Yeah, that's what's up. Well, we, you know, just getting, you know me, I'm chilling. All right, man. So let's get into, let's, let's get into this, uh, this this Nashville thing, man. Let's, let's talk hey, about yeah, this. Go ahead, I mean, uh, Don, go ahead. Man. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. What you got there, Seth? Some of that nectar, that good nectar rose. Yeah. Hey, I got I got some uh some uh what's that? What's the joint, Rick Ross? The Bel Air. Got shout out to Rick Ross. I had to go get me some Bel Air. Got that rose. Um, yeah, rose. Hey, yeah. but anyway. Uh, Nashville explosion. Um, I think this was maybe two or three days ago. Um, uh, if you haven't heard the news, ladies and gentlemen, um, it was a gentleman uh, by the name of let me get his name correct. Wait a minute. Sorry, I gotta pull up and get nowhere. Uh, Anthony Warner um, was a, a Nashville resident. Who took his RV, parked it on the side of a luckily because of COVID and you know the pandemic and things, a lot of people are on the streets. Thank God that this man didn't cause more damage to you know other human beings than the other casualties that happened. But um about six o'clock a.m. six, I think it was like six a.m. between six and six fifteen. This man parks his had has his basically trailer parked on the street. Police got wind of something. Um, like a bomb or whatever, um, being in the RV explosives at the time, so they cleared most of the streets. Uh, and this was like I said, early, early, uh, between I think five and six a.m. in Nashville. Well, with the, uh, the gentleman inside, he detonates whatever explosive he has and blows up damn near half a city block, destroying businesses, um, killing himself. A few people were injured. I don't think it was a whole lot of fatalities. But um, it was just some wild shit. Now, this is the wildest shit of the story. In August tw- on August 21st, 2019, his girlfriend, Pamela Perry, told the police that and notified authorities that he was building bombs and had some kind of explosives in that RV. Now, this was a year and a half ago. The, right. um, 
yeah, no, the authorities were warned by his girlfriend, but because they couldn't catch up with the guy, this is their actual words, because they couldn't actually catch up with him and they didn't have a warrant to go in the RV, they basically just let the shit fall by the wayside um, and, and didn't really further investigate because they said, well, they couldn't find him or catch up with him. Um, but obviously he was in the fucking RV or somewhere in if he blew the fucking thing up a year and a half later in the, on the fucking street in Nashville. But um, that's some sloppy fucking police work, bro. Yeah, I, if they I, want him, they, 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 they can find him. Yeah, if they want him, they can find him, man. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Real, real quick. This man, my girlfriend, called the feds on him, saying that he was building some bullshit, some bombs. Um, any type of thing, just anything. Look here, man. I don't. I'm trying to get this right. Uh, that the dude got the feds called on him because he was building bombs by his girlfriend. By his girlfriend, she snitched on him, dropped the dime. Yep. And he still is out, and he he don't want to blow up. He committed suicide, basically. Right, and and the police said the reason that they didn't do anything at that mo time is because they didn't have a warrant to search the RV and they couldn't catch up with him uh, for questioning about the whole situation. Like, my thing is, what the... Oh, in the, in the, the, the type of world we live in there with all these bombers, Oklahoma, Boston, all these uh, ex uh, shit, 9-11, if anything happens with somebody say, yo, I'm this man's wife, girlfriend, he's building bombs in the RV for the police to say... Well, we didn't have a warrant, or we didn't catch up with him to question him. That was the dumbest shit they could have. I mean, this is a definitely what the fuck is going on here, part of the segment of the show, because there's no way that you don't get that. Who when did you know? I mean, I know when the fuck did the police need a warrant to enter your home, let alone an RV, off a suspicion of any wrongful doing, right? Any and especially building bombs. That's that's terroristic. Hey, step um, building a terroristic fucking... activity, man. So I'm just. Oh yeah, yeah. That should have been. Yeah, that. That. yeah, they definitely would have. They normally they look into shit like that. They they actually find. I mean, yeah, that that's crazy. Can I, can, let me ask y'all a question. What y'all think about this? If this gentleman was black or Spanish, you think that he was? Uh, he'd have been all right. Man, no. they went up in that motherfucking trailer so what fast. Man? Hey, this, they, even if he wasn't in the trailer, they would have fucked fuck around it. They would have fucked around and shot their own person trying to find <laughs> his motherfucker. That's not even funny. That's not funny. funny. That's fucking that funny. funny. That's the world we live in, though, right? Yeah. Excuse me Where for those who laugh, man. man ain't funny, but you can be a, just, you can be a white dude, and this ain't that. You, we always, you know, it ain't about a, a cutter thing, but you know, the privilege thing comes into play, man. We talk about this all the time because. You and I know that if any of us go on mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. thing and, and hold, I, hold, hey, hold on, what, what he, he said he said I was at the Marriott in Baltimore, half a block away, rattled all the windows. What the hell? Huh? 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 Are you talking about the? I wanted to talk about the other one. The gas. It was a gas explosion in Baltimore a few months hit, ago, hit but I don't know about. Hey, hit him, hit, him, hit, him, hit him with the Scooby Doo, man. Hit him with the Scooby Doo, man. Right. <laughs> hey, Mike, what's bomb hey. in Baltimore, nigga? If you felt the bomb in Baltimore that went off in Nashville, he blew up more than half a city block. <laughs> that nigga <laughs> went hey, 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 we in hey. trouble. <laughs> right, bro. Hey, he had that much firepower. <laughs> no, nah, bro. I, I, hey. We talking about the wrong one, Chef. I think you talking about the wrong bomb, Mike. That. You must have hit you a good bong hit or something, goddammit. No, that was that was the other bomb, bro. That was, that's what kind of times we living in in 2020. We gotta be like, nah, bro, that's the other bomb. You be like, oh shit, the other one? Yeah. He, said, he, he said, yeah, nah, one was last week. Oh, but they they, they oh, bombed in Baltimore. Cause Mike, listen, exploded. check this, Mike. You ain't talking about the same one we talking about, bro. Cause. <laughs> <laughs> that that bam ass dude that blew up the bomb and, to the sea. And, and let, you ain't feeling that in Baltimore. And let me tell you the reason why he did that. He did that because he was a part of some spook bullshit uh, uh, theorist group online that says AT and T five G was planning on taking over the world. So he meant to actually blow up the A and T and T building in a hub. For a lot of cell phone and phone companies that were in, if that was a planned bomb, he didn't just park there and just blow it up because he ran out of fucking gas. Also, he did that shit with a purpose. Some dumbass terrorist, I don't know if it's Facebook or whatever internet group, 
convinced this man to build a bomb and he went and parked that shit and he actually knocked out i think they said like one third or one maybe one fourth of the phone lines in the city uh, uh in the, the area of nashville because of the bomb he targeted the at t store because of 5g hey listen real quick uh oh yeah mike mike Schiffer said nah he talking about a gas explosion that's what's yeah, up mike. listen I'm, I'm glad you was good everybody was good there um this bombing that happened in Nashville. I ain't even want to say the coward name, uh, but, but Dan, you did say his name. Let it be known this that his quote after he took his own life and he blew up this block right here was basically that they're going to remember me. They're going to remember my name. Well, we want you to know this, homie. You could have killed some innocent people. You could have killed some innocent bystanders, some children. Thank goodness the police officers that were there made it out safe. The pedestrians that were there made it out safe. Everybody was safe. We only gonna remember that you a coward. You in hell right now, you a clown. You know what I'm saying? You don't get no smoke for blowing up shit, bro. You don't get no rah-rah, you a big bad wolf type shit. Nah, bro, you're a clown. I'm not gonna remember your name. Yeah, they gonna hey, talk about it. They been talking about it on the news, but understand this. You could have really affected people's lives in, a, in some very bad, very bad ways, man. Children could have been harmed. Yeah, wor worse than knocking out cell phones. The yeah, cell phone. Worse than knocking out cell phones. You're a fucking idiot. Now he did on his truck have a count a countdown system that was basically telling people to get the hell away. So maybe yeah, he, he, did. he didn't think that what he was doing was meant to hurt nobody. But him, he knocked down this one family's whole apartment. Like fuck, they. Yeah. Home. If yeah, they no, he, he did some, they'd have been dead. Listen, he did some fucking damage with that bomb, but you know, like I say, it was only his fuck your opinion. Uh, uh, was, you, uh the uh Christmas Day, it was on Christmas Christmas Day bomb. I know you already dead, bro. But and, hey. and what the and what you think they're gonna stop running 5G and ATT because you blew up a fucking building and knocked some yo. We gotta get to this. We gotta get to this next topic, man. Karen strikes again, man. Oh, Karen's back. Oh, Karen's yeah. back. Here's the video. Oh, what? No, she didn't. Oh, look at it. What Karen doing? No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. Keon's outraged father quickly went viral earlier this week. Get your phone back. I can't. I cannot. Not have my phone. Get your Errol, speaking at a rally Wednesday with civil rights attorney Benjamin Trump, said he and his son were the victims of racial profiling. And I can't even come down there in New York City, harm New York City, and just go get brunch without being attacked and wrongfully accused of something same trumpeter and trump are calling on the district it's more yeah. new footage shows the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. when a woman tackles the teenage son mm. in a prominent black position after wrongly accusing the boy of stealing her phone released overnight by the new york city police department the surveillance video shows the woman rush 14 year old keon harold jr in the arlo hotel on saturday no i'm not letting him walk away with my phone initial video of the heated confrontation posted on instagram by keon's outraged father Quickly went viral earlier this week. Mm hmm. Man, Yo. Karen, that, Karen, Karen. And listen, this is the whole scoop of that. The Her phone was later returned back to the hotel by an Uber driver that she left, and she left her fucking phone in the back of an Uber. And she was there. Yeah, that's that's what he's trying to get. Um, yeah, no, they're, he, trying, they're trying to get a charge filed against her for um, basically assault and battery. Uh, yeah. wrongful, you know, wrongful is that uh, is that little, little accusations mm -hmm. um, and a couple other things, man. This this is just another classic. And you know, I watched the full uh, interview on I don't know if it was Good Morning America. It was one of the uh, news outlets that did it. I forget the dude that did it. Light skin brother, real real good dude, man. But uh, he had the father, the son, the mother, and the lawyer on there, and basically. You know, it's just one of them things where they asked the young boy, they were like, you know, what was what was going through your head when this happened to you? And he basically was like, man, I was just thinking what had to happen if my father wasn't here. Right. You know, I mean, can you imagine that being your child 
and a woman, anybody, it ain't got nothing to do with color, but you're being accused of doing something that you didn't do. Um, this lady tackled this man's son. I mean, she was going hand with it, like oh yeah, she she was she, she was, was going yeah, she yeah. was going a little. Um, yeah, she put and, she put the know, energy in for that, bro. Like she was trying and, to. And, and the fact that for her to see him as a threat or someone that has her phone, and she also wasn't even a guest of the hotel that day. She had already checked out previously and came back to the hotel in search of her phone, but. Um, she walked in and seen this young black kid standing in the lobby with his own phone and was like, take the case off that phone and tried to get the hotel manager before the son, before the father got there, tried to get the hotel manager to coerce the kid to show him her phone. The phone is because she said it was hers and she actually was so uh, shown telling the guy, take the case off the phone. That's my phone. Anyway, it's just, man, this, this shit goes too far with the level of um senseless accusations and shit against blacks you know for stealing i mean we've seen it it's been going viral all year blacks well, being accused well, we, of stealing. we can just say we can just say one very famous and one unfortunate event remember emmett till yeah of course yeah yeah so this has been happening since the test of time man since the beginning um these cowards yeah, these cowards have viral. been amazing. And making false accusations since the test of time. Um, shame on these Karen. These Karen, listen, it's about to be 2021. Racial profiling that is racial science. profiling. They need to get serious serious charges put against them for racial profiling. That go both ways: black, white, Spanish, whoever you are. But it's majority is happening to black men, black women. Um, if you have the audacity to racial profile and wrongly accuse somebody. You should have the audacity to get your ass whooped or go I mean, to jail. Yeah, and yeah, and, 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 people some, have been. Which say, go ahead. I'm sorry, Don. No, nah, it's a state that passed the law. I think it was California yeah. that passed yep. the current law where you actually they, they go get they get in trouble for that shit. But that's not well, everywhere. So well, you know, you, you know, one thing that we need to definitely start giving these people off the break, right? A beverage. Well, uh, a beverage. <laughs> a twisted tea. I think twisted um, tea. Should be the spokesman. Uh, oh my god! Twisted T. We're gonna get into that. We're, 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 for all the Karens in the world, for all the because uh, we got to come up with a name for the the male figures. Uh, Twisted T should be the uh, drink for those people because um, it's outrageous, man. They need to stop. Yeah, uh, but I'm I mean, and on this part, the actual woman was let go. No charges pressed. They tried to say she had some mental. Issues going I mean, either on way, they, they let her walk. Yeah, the hotel let her walk. She walked free. No problem. She will basically walked away after that incident with no other things, you know, no charges pressed, anything. And the hotel basically gave a weak ass statement, you know, saying that the hotel manager handled the incident wrong and all that. Shame stuff. on the hotel for one. And real quick before we move on, just just a, a note of thing, just put, you know, hold, put hold on. It's, it's, it's not. The actual move on, man. We go. We're gonna get into. Um, Dan actually threw this, threw this, that, threw this on bone before we got on the air, man. He was on. Um, we're gonna do the top twenty-five Karens. We, I mean, that, we, 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 we gonna show some. We gonna show some Karens throughout. We got the a lot of Karens. Yeah, oh, man. Go, we go, had go. the top. We got the top twenty-five of two thousand and twenty Karens. It ain't gotta be. We can do top ten, top five. We can do top five. You know. Let's see. Top five. Roll it. Hey, this actually this was this a video or is, uh, this John is, I see a, it's just a list. Yeah, it's just a list. It's just okay. a list. You know, okay. This, okay. this was uh if we don't know who Amy Cooper, this is Central Park Karen. Remember the lady who was go, uh trying to call the police against the black guy for supposedly walking his dog off a leash, and she called the police to try to fake like he was attacking her and and basically sit there and lied to the police. And try to get them to try be on her side by just basically calling, making a blatant phone call of help to the police, knowing this man did nothing to her. Um, I don't know if we got a soundtrack for some of these, but um, she was number she was number one on the worst list of Karens for this year. I didn't even know she yeah, was number yeah, one. We, yeah, we ain't gonna be able to do the soundtrack because that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna push the time. Yeah, we we, yeah, but we, ahead, we, 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 we move it along smoothly. Yeah, but, go um, ahead. Now. What's number two? The second one is well, damn it, do got a little sound on it. It's That's the dog part, bitch. Yeah, yeah. 
This the second one. I, I don't remember this, yo. McCloud, the gun tote and Ken. No, the they came in the neighborhood. They were uh, they were um, protesting, and they came out with the, the guns. Yeah, the, the right the the couple. I think it was a couple in Connecticut. They were doing a Black Lives uh, March down the street. Simple, you know, nonviolent protest in the upscale neighborhood. And the husband and the wife both came out armed. She had a, uh, as you can oh, see, yeah. her nine millimeter, and he had, I think, he had an AK forty. He had some kind oh, of yeah. rifle, assault rifle, and they was uh, basically trying to uh, goad on the um, protesters because you know they came to shoot some shit. Damn. Yep, two times both false reports. Yep, because they said that people were going to come down there and riot, and they only showed up and walked through their neighborhood and protest. And when they did it, they were outside aiming uh, fully in semi-automatic weapons at these at people. Is, is uh, she protest. this rough? Is, is she this rough looking, or they just got her face distorted in this photo? Nah, nah, that's her. Damn, Karen's looking rough, man. These Karen's be looking real. Then they go right there. Yeah, John, they go her and husband right there. He got the AK. Oh man, he got, got the nine. Yeah, oh St. Yeah. Louis. He got yeah, the top. Out, he, he got the up, mm -hmm. This is an upscale St. Louis neighborhood, supposedly. Look at this crazy motherfucker right here. Holy okay, shit. I'm not. We might have to play this clip, Don. I ain't too familiar with chalk, Karen. What the what did chalk Karen look crazy? Give me some. Hi, I'm asking you if this is your property. Why are you asking? Because well, it's private property. Because it's private property, so sir. Are you debating private property or is this your home? You're free to express your opinion. No, you we but you, not on people's property. Look how she looked though. What's up with her? She looks so, scary as shit. Absolutely. Right. Why you can why you got your hand behind your back? I think this. she about to shoot or stab or some shit okay. like that. It's private property. But if it, if I did live here and it was my property, this would be absolutely fine. If it, and you don't know if I live here or if this actually, is my property. We actually do know. That's Look at it. Oh really? Because you live here, right? You no, said so. Because we know the who does it. Oh, okay. So then um, I suggest you call him no, or call the, police, or call the police. Or because you're you accusing me of a crime, correct? What I'm asking you is why are you... And I'm not answering you. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So you, your choices are to call the cops if you believe I'm calling a crime, and I will more than be happy to talk to them. Okay, thank you. What's your name again? I'm Lisa. Lisa, what's your last name? What is your name? What's your name? I asked first, Lisa. What's your name, sir? What's your last name, sir? What is your first name, sir? <laughs> I, I'm not answering. I'm not answering. Hey, stop it right there, Don. Listen, that's the ultimate yeah. white person exchange. What's your name, sir? What is your name, sir? No, sir. What is your name, sir? When it goes, right, well, we got kids, Bob Karen. Kids, Bob oh, Karen. Shit. Kids, Bob Karen. Oh my goodness. You're cute too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really sorry. You are? No, it's my. It's my. It's my it fault. It's your fault. Yeah, I know it's my fault. That's why I'm. I'm saying sorry. Hello. <laughs> she thinks it's cute that her driver almost hit my kids and she thinks she needs to take a video of it instead of apologizing like a safe so stopping in the middle okay. of the road is going to help you being a bitch is going to help i didn't say anything. i don't know calm down calm down it's okay i'm sorry he it's apologized my, it's, my, it's, it's my fault he apologized yeah. Yeah, I know it's and my you know what it, that didn't upset me but yeah. the bitch ass hoe sorry that she <laughs> needs to calm down What's up with her hand? What I'd like you to do is apologize like, for being a bitch. You're calling me sorry, but you're calling me a bitch. I'll oh, set, an, set an example. I'm sorry. He is but arguing with person in the back seat about a damn the accident that was caused by the girl. Because they're listening to kids' bop. Attitude it's okay. sucks dick. Mm. Damn. I, ne I never heard of this Karen, but she, 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 she needs her ass whooped. Like, what, is she number, was that number three? Was that number yeah, three or four? This number four. This number four. Kids, Bob Karen. They getting salty, man. Spicy. How you arguing with the motherfucker in the front in the back seat about what the driver's doing? That's the craziest shit ever. All right, who's this? Melissa Rain Lively. The Q. Oh, Q and on Karen. Karen. Yeah, Q and on. They were talking about some crazy. This is this shit started a whole a real tiff too. Um, that Q and on shit started. Yeah, they had to take the video down because they were actually starting. Um, a whole revolution on this is some shit on Trump type shit. They yeah, was like, uh, Trump is the savior. This shit was wild. Yeah, she was arrested. Yeah, that they took that video down. Couldn't play that joke. Starbucks, Karen. Starbucks, Karen. Starbucks, man. Listen, 
it, it, DMV. It, it, hold on, hold on. I'm, I see the star stop was Karen, but I, I see the DMV Karen, man. I'm I, I'm interested in this right now, man. DMV right, Karen. What she got? Okay. So. Okay. Well, okay. The young lady. I'm recording myself. Does she need to be in to get the sticker? Yeah, she got to get to say Ohio though. She's got two sets. We of don't them. do titles here. That's at the title I mean, no. end of the building. License plate. So you know, um, I was. Oh, oh DMV, DMV, Karen. I get it now. And, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> motor vehicle. Uh, uh, said receipt. that I need to wear a yeah, face mask. Okay, she'll have to wait. And then I said I. This is an express service. Okay. Get that done faster. You can't record me without my permission. Okay. Well, I'm accompanying my boyfriend. Okay, but you're not doing the same thing that he's doing. She's still recording her. All right, man. We got we we the Karen. We can't we can't go completely Karen. No, no, but I'm just saying. As you see. Man, it's been a lot. This this shit got leave the Karens in 2022, man. 2021. Please, all Karens, take note. Um, this is we they have actually done so much of this shit that they've created their own fucking lane for this shit. This shit is amazing. How 2020 and that whole mask shit. I mean, put a fucking mask on. You look like this. Uh, this anyway. Karens of 2020, man. That that's just a little brief for those. Folks on uh fuck your opinion podcast who watches, check it out yourself. They got a top twenty five um Karen's list. Uh fuck you, Karen's too. Oh, this you join right here, Seth. Here we go. Racist man gets hit in the face with the can after calling man the N-word. Real quick, for all you guys out that like to use the N-word, you shouldn't use the N-word. Why are you still doing it? We have we have a drink for you. It's cause yeah, and that's this drink is for you. I seen that shit in the liquor store today. I was laughing like shit, man. I was like, damn, they didn't. <laughs> they, ought make, they ought to make the light skin brother the spokesman of the twisted T. Hey, hey, right. hey light skin dude almost fucked up though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when I was playing this shit, I, I, he dropped the can, and, and if dude was about that, he could have fucked him up right yeah, there. Yeah, hey, look, I had to air his ass out when he dropped yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah when he dropped that joint down, he could have gave him a could have gave him a joke and then nice knee to the head. And, and this would have been a bad video. You know what I'm saying? Better, he better be glad he wasn't one of them MMA racist white dudes. He just held his yeah. ass out in that joint. And then he had to lock up with him, you know, because because mm. the can didn't work. So it was that it was that one time where I right, if if you don't if you don't lock up right, you you might fuck up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me see. 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 Let Fuck my mama, nigga. Fuck my mama. Fuck your mama. You're my gonna pop up. I live off 400 ice cream. Two blocks away. I'm a, I, and you know it's crazy. You know it's crazy. I'm gonna walk to you. I'm gonna walk right to my house for you, bro. Oh, God. I'm not trying to disrespect you. Bro. I'm, I'm gonna say this all day, all every day. Are you kidding me? Where are you from, nigga? Where are you from? Get the fuck out of you, a clown, nigga. Oh, this God, is where shooting around goes wrong. Here, you're a clown. What you gonna smack me? Uh, smack. 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 We're this is where keeping it real goes wrong. Roll it, dog. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh, no. oh, oh, my God. Now that, God. Yeah, you got yours, buddy. <laughs> now that's Brit, baby. <laughs> Call me another fucking nigga. Call me another fucking nigga. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh oh, they all out time. They all out. We'll see. Oh, not that. You good? You good? You good? You good? You good? You good? Damn. Yo, that's when keeping it real. And this one, you know what the wildest thing about that? I don't even get a racist. Vibe from the white boy for calling says, dude a nigga. He he says it around his homeboys. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Hey, 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 h
that word, it, it you know what I'm saying? You you, you can't just it say you can't finish it. No, no, yeah, no, no, it, 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 it ain't it ain't a word you should it, it's a word if you're not black, just don't say that shit, man. Yeah, so, let's you, that is, man. You, you fuck around and say it around the wrong motherfucker, he might blow your motherfucking head off. He might hey, hey, <laughs> y'all know, know me, I'm I'm of a mixed background, I'm a, a biracial background. Okay, I have the coolest white dudes in the world that are in my family that if you were to talk to these dudes on the phone, you would never know that they white. It ain't got nothing to do with them trying to be black. They just good people. Get down, Biggie. Um, now this I must say this: they grew up around black folks just like I did. Okay, black, white. We all grow. We all the same people, but they don't use the n word. This dude right here, I don't think this dude was racist. I think he was just that comfortable to where he can use the n word, and. You can't use it because I got a lot of my family members. I tell my white friends, I moved out the world to a place where it's very diverse. And I've told a lot of the good dudes that I know, I know y'all not racist. Don't use the N-word around certain members of my family. Don't do that. It's not going to be good because we will not willingly joke around and say the word cracker, call you yeah. a cracker. It's yeah. just something. Everything's not for everybody. Okay. And he sh listen, he should have took the one. Hey, Don. Do me a favor. Can we go back to that clip? Play that again. That was just. I love the sequence of this clip. Let me show you the sequence of this clip. Let me show you the sequence of this clip. Wait, hold up. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Let's go back to the beginning. I want to go back to the beginning. All right, now we don't really see it because we focused on them two, right? But it's homeboy. Hit the clip. Give me a little bit of the clip, Don. Fuck my mama, nigga. Fuck my mama. Fuck your mama, nigga. It looked like they just arguing right here. He's gonna pop him. I live on four hundred. Hold on, hold on real quick, dog. Hold on. Did you hear the lady in the background? I believe the lady in the background was probably an older white lady. Did you hear what she said? He said she he's said, gonna pop him. He's getting he done fucked up. Okay. Everything is not for everybody in this world. Hey, hey, hey that fuck about your mama. That that could have ended right there. Yeah, that that, 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 that could have been. That could be death, depending that on. That could be death. At. Yes, people. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. It's their mama. Yo, yo, Don. But Don, check this part out. Look, look hey, at. Hey, don't hey, look hey, at him. Hey. Look at his homeboy. Look at the homeboy. His he homeboy. Is he back. Hold on. Hey, he I want to. I want to. Don know what he's talking about. So, <laughs> my cousin Michael Schiffer is saying back to the DMAC days. Yeah. God rest his soul. Tattooed on my arm. Our yeah, cousin really Dillard, rest in peace, James Mack, D Mack was his name. D Mack, I don't give a damn how big you were, what you had in your pocket, what kind of gun you had. If you said the N word around D Mack, he was going to break your jaw. Okay? Yeah, he, 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 he was going to slam he didn't it. No games with no man on this planet. And he made it very clear everything is not for everybody. He did not disrespect nobody by calling them out of their name, cracker, white, this, that. One time, I had a buddy of mine say the N-word of my yo know, nigga in my trailer, and the dude wasn't racist, but he thought he was cool enough to say it. D-Mac right. broke, broke his nose. Yeah, that's yo, what I'm saying. You get, yeah. And that's why I say, I say it, my my advice is just don't say just it. Just don't say it. It ain't for everybody. Hey, Don, go back yeah. to, all right, play a little bit more, Don. Look at his, look at his, the, the, the homeboy who got smacked with the teeth. Look at his homeboy. Soon as he started, yeah, 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 he turned his hey, back. He already, he already, he already, he already, he already, he already <laughs> hey, hey, he, hey, yo, he already know what the fuck it is. It, hey, you can't even defend your homie, yo, when he do this shit. You gotta turn hey. your back. You gotta turn your back on your homies, yo. He, he, he fucked up off of right now. Hey, he, yeah, that the dog in the background was like, oh man, oh, he yeah, fucked up. Right. Oh man, <laughs> hey, how would he hey. do that? Yeah, he fucked up off him right now. Blocks away. I'm a, I, and you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? I'm going to walk to you. I'm going to walk right to my house for you, bro. Oh, God. I'm not trying to disrespect you, bro. Look at this dude. <laughs> Look at this man. This man looking, looking like, oh, this Are you kidding me? Hey, he, he is disgusted with this dude right now, he bro. Like, he's disgusted. He's getting like, you further and further away from no him. Yeah, he don't want no part of this. This this. No, yeah, his hey, man, I'm man. Oh man! When I seen that clip, I noticed that this whole. Hey, he didn't even defend him. Look at him. He didn't even hold him back. He already know. He already know. Hey, already know, yo. Like, at this point right here, he just he just hey. moved back. Mm -hmm. It's going down. He already knows. Here we go. 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 Here we go.
You are a clown. Oh, God, you a clown, nigga. You fucking here. You a clown. What, you gonna smack me with that? Smack me. Smack me. Smack me, nigga. He ain't never played no football. He, he hey, hey played. this this right here was a dangerous moment. I I, I, I mean he he could have lost. He, he 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 couldn't. He almost fucked up, man. Like he almost yeah. like this right here was an L. Like if that right. if that white dude was really about it, he had him right there because he already know he's trying to smack him with. It. Yeah, yeah. Now, white this, dude was gonna fuck this up. Now, now, now if this one of them cock strong ones, he would got his ass with. Hey, hey, dog. If that was cousin, if that was cousin George, you know what would have happened. Yeah, dude would have got his ass whooped right there, man. Yeah, like, like, cause yeah. he he bent down and everything. He ain't even doing and the little. Dude, he ain't even doing. And, and he not even doing the little, the little. You know, when you stoop down, he actually bending all the way over. Get mm -hmm. I mean, yo, get stole anything, yo. Like, like he fucked up right here. But get the play, man. Oh. Woo! Hey, his homeboy is still hey, backing hey, up. Yeah, but at this point, yo, he got <laughs> up. He, hey, hey, at, 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 at this point, he back up though. So you got you, you now, now you got to really be about it. No, no, no. Hey. Listen, this is what y'all fail to realize: the guy behind him, when he stepped back, he stepped back in a defensive position because he thought that the dude was probably going to hit him and then follow up and hit his man. Now, listen, he was trying to. He was had his hand still in his pocket. He was trying to make sure he. Hand still in his pocket. Hey, look, but white dude tried to come at him, though. He tried to come back at him with it, though. Yeah, he fucked up. He fucked up. Oh. I'm going to say, at this point right here, if you can't fight, you in trouble. Yeah, you just... Right. You just hey, hey, if you, if you can't... If you can't... If you ain't... If you ain't good with the hands, or you ain't or strong enough with the muscle, he had the muscle. Because, I don't know... We don't even know where he at with the hands. Actually, oh, no, black dude ain't no hands. Black dude ain't no hands. Actually, dude, he had no hands. A dude got up. Okay, he hit him with the little. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he should have been asleep. He should have hey. been knocked the fuck out. Hey, 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 Use that shit around your homies and leave it at that. Hey, his homeboy still, his homeboy took him a plea. <laughs> Look, he still got to get his change. He still get the He still get this change while his man getting handled. Hey, hey. man, that boy, that boy got my tears in my. Eye. That whole reel right there was. When keeping it real goes wrong yeah, at his time. I, 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 I should have called you that, yo. Uh, so listen, it. Let me ask yeah. y'all this. Let me ask y'all this. Because we know my man got the Ocean Spray uh, endorsement for riding the longboard and, and playing the, the good old music, that feel good music. He got a truck from Ocean Spray. What should homie get from Twisted T? Should he get a lifetime subscription to uh, Twisted T? Should he get a little... Oh. You know, Brisk, uh, he needed one of the commercials. I'm goddamn. Hey, you so remember Brisk? No, not the no, white the dude, dude. Oh, the brother. Oh, dude, dude. Oh, yeah, he should he should get something, man. But yeah, they should give him a lifetime supply. Hey, hey, yo, Don and Steph, do you remember that's those Nest? I ain't drinking that bullshit. Listen, do y'all remember the Nest T commercials? Uh, or Lipton T with Bruce Lee and Rocky Balboa, and every time something they'd be like, That's brisk, baby. When when yeah. they when it was always some that's how old that's, we are. Unfortunately, I remember yeah, that. Shit. If you if nobody you haven't seen it, check them out these old Lipton Ice Tea commercials of uh, it was the claymation or clay, whatever animated version of Bruce Lee and Rock. The brother right there needs that. That's brisk, baby. When he hit him with that one, it's just nearly pause to say, Now that's brisk, baby. When you get no, 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 it, can't, it can't be brisk, it's got to be twisted, baby, because oh, it's twi twisted. Baby. That's the alcoholic hey. version of the tea. Oh, yeah, oh, definitely. Hey, did somebody need to just take a pause and somebody come in and say, Yes, hey, and, and real quick, uh, Mike made a good point. Mike Schiffer made a good point. He said the white dude wasn't with a, with a racist tone, but it dude, hey, it's in the stop, he should have stopped and listen. This goes back, and look here, we ain't making fun of no white people. Uh, unfortunately, this is the thing. You can't, everything is not for everybody. There what you, you say in the hood around your homies, you might got black friends, but you probably can say that. I don't have them kind of friends. I don't have hey, the kind of friends. And obviously, if, if he got the black around me and my folks, I'm just, you know. If he got, the, if he got black friends that allow him to use that word, and that's it, then they, 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 they
Yeah, yeah they, right, they, exactly. They, because if they'd have checked him from the door, he would have knew. He was on the internet right now. Hey, yo, but that right there was a smack hurt. Hey, you know what? I got you, Step. When he get hit with that, Samuel L. Jackson need to come in. You know, like those what's those wallet <laughs> joints. He need to come and say, that's twisted, motherfucker. <laughs> when you get hit, Samuel Jackson just come in and say, now that's twisted, motherfucker. Hey, that's yeah, that, yeah, 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 that, that shit that's good money. money. That's good money, man. Hey, good man, money. no bullshit. Hey, but for uh -oh. real, man, this shit, okay, still yeah, go ahead, Don, because I know we got shooting. We got, we got nine minutes. Yeah, 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 we got, we got, yeah. So, we move, it, so, so I can watch that video again, goddamn it, for real. I, I, yeah, that shit, that shit, that shit that, I actually, when, when we, we played the joint on the other, I said, I, I wonder what they think about the I know, because I know we're going to laugh man. at this shit, because this shit was I funny. As a matter of fact, <laughs> motherfuckers just start, just start riding around with twisted tees and they cool them. Yeah, oh my goodness, that's gonna be the official <laughs> black barbecue drink, even if it's nasty. <laughs> Every black barbecue gonna have a few twisted teas in the cooler. What you got, the uncle? Go ahead, dog. We're gonna be drinking that shit anyway, though. That's some, yeah, whatever. All right, no, we, we, we just talking about we're just gonna talk about some of the biggest stories. We, we ain't gotta rank them or no shit like that. It's just all right, go ahead, dog. The, the, the first one, got, of course. Uh, damn, hold up. Oh, somebody knocking on my shit. Somebody knocking on your door, dog? Oh, no, nah, they dropped something upstairs. He does. <laughs> the first one, of course, is Kobe. This was, I, I, After this happened, man, a lot of shit just went down spiral. Yeah, that's no bull. Yeah, Kobe, man, that's, that was the saddest start. That was the saddest start to 2020, uh, losing Kobe Bryant and his daughter, Gianna. Um, in a plane crash, a helicopter crash in California on their way to, I think it was what, uh, the basketball or camp or wherever we hit. Okay. Um, oh, family man. Coach, um, man. God, and, it, um, you know, so and to the other family, you know, rest in peace and our condolences go out to the other families beside Kobe Bryant and his daughter. There were other families that lost their lives and family members too because it was a coaching staff. Everybody in that chopper, man. Everybody in that chopper, man. That was just. Um, that was horrible, man. That was a horrible, horrible. story, man. Horrible. Yeah. Rest in peace to and Kobe you know, Bryant. And then you know they took pictures. You, you, know, you know the first, some of the first responders, they took pictures and they was sharing them shits, man. Like, yeah, they got in trouble, but they got fired. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that, was, yeah that was. Some, yeah, that was some it's a real quick. Before we did the uh, podcast, I had ran the um, target real quick, but before I was leaving out the house, ESPN is doing all the uh, commercials and things from 2020 of uh, old commercials. Rest in peace, my man Stuart Scott. They showed a couple of his old commercials, uh, and then they did the Kobe Bryant uh, tribute. Mm -hmm. And uh, y'all know how I feel about Kobe. I, mean, I, got, I got the guy on my my mantle in my dining room. My son grew up a Lakers fan. I grew up a Lakers fan. We love the dude. Don Gotti Nash knows that he's uh, the baby goat. We ain't gonna get into it right uh, now. I ain't even, I ain't even we got five minutes. We got five minutes. Listen. This is LeBron's favorite superhero, Kobe Bryant. Uh, it was wow. just really sad, though, man. It, it was really sad. Uh, yeah, 2020 has been Rest pretty brutal, peace. man. To the Mamba. Rest, Rest in peace to the Mamba. Rest in peace to Gigi and everybody in the helicopter, man. It was real sad. That's right. All the families involved, prayers go up. My man, George, George, George Floyd. Floyd, man. Um, George, we all man. know about this story. Uh, sad that this uh, brother lost his life over a $20, fake $20 bill. Um, and it's just shit was just man, it sparked the whole the whole summer, the whole summer and most of the fall. It basically George Floyd, um, and, and what happened to this brother was sad the nine minutes in which he officer knee uh kneeled on his neck and he was unconscious and he basically died in the hands of police custody. Also, Breonna Taylor, um, other it, it, amongst other uh brothers and sisters, black, uh, and still. We're still seeking oh, justice. Somebody, somebody just a uh, young brother just got killed in PG County from a cop. Y'all heard? Y'all heard? It's still going on. It's still, it's listen, still going on. It ain't going to change, man. They've been doing this shit since the test of time. The only difference is we have phones now. People are recording. And, I, and, and, and they still get paid. And they still walking away, man. They still um, walking. The saddest shit is the Breonna Taylor and George Floyd. Uh, the George basically uh, Breonna Taylor. Her killers have not brought brought to the justice. Uh, the young boy who was shot in the park in Ohio, they dismissed his case, uh, Tamir Rice. And George Floyd, the, the cop, last time we heard, he turned himself in on a bond. 
But um, rest in peace to George Floyd and for what he sparked in the revolution in the streets where, you know, the whole police department. Didn't, didn't, the, uh, didn't the brother get shot eating ice cream in his house this year? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, oh yeah. yeah, that was yeah, yeah. but, I mean, but on, uh, man. Texas, it was, it was, yeah. um, it was it's some hey. names, man. We used to list the names. Who, who we got next, dog? Hey, hold up, but we're gonna get past it, man. 2021, we're gonna move on to hopefully more justice for black and brown and equality for all. What you got next, dog? What you got? Coronavirus, man. I got I just it, I can't find a real good picture. So Coron yeah, man. Coronavirus well, you know. no picture, nigga. That, that don't need no <laughs> that shit is a, a pale man. horse. <laughs> Show the pale sure. horse with death on it. And, and, you don't need you no know. pictures for Corona. Corona got a motherfucking uh, yeah, it is. There you go. There you uh, go. COVID nineteen, bro. Um This is probably the COVID biggest story the world, yeah, man. Yeah, this is probably the biggest story of the year, man. I mean it's if you, you ask me. This shit, this shit changed every motherfucking thing, man. Like it, it changed the world, a lot bro. of shit. Like, the world, like, like we riding around with masks on, and you know what I'm saying. You you ain't even you, you ain't even trying to touch people now. People doing arm um, bumps and shit now. And let me like, let me ask you a question. When this stuff first happened, right? Did any of y'all think that it was going to be this serious? Nah, I thought it was some bullshit. No, nah. I thought it was some bullshit. I thought it was, I it was a couple know. of months thing. I thought it was a couple yeah, of months. I thought, I, thought, I, thought, I thought it was a new flu. And you know, I I thought it would, pop, you know, after a little while it'll pass. I didn't think it would be this serious until they start, you know, until you start seeing that shit. Like, oh shit! Like it came here and it just so. Let me ask you this: Have you ever caught yourself thinking to yourself and looking at all the people ride by you, walk by you with the mask on, and say, "Are things ever going to be back to normal? Are we ever going to be able to get together with our family?" Because this is the thing about it, right? Yeah. Remember I told you how we take things for granted and, and the alone time and being at home has opened our eyes to so many different things in this world, right? It's the right. new normal, bro. It's the That's new normal. Call. How many times have y'all looked and said, is shit ever going to be back to normal, man? Well, I, I have, mean, but I, I, don't, don't. I, don't think, I don't think it's going to ever be back. I think this is the new normal. I think people going to yeah, be Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't even look at it. This, can, this cannot be the forever. The normal. Normal. I'm just saying it's going to be an adjustment. It ain't going to be like it was. That so is, listen, y'all, we, since we talk about the Corona vaccine, I got a surprise for y'all. Y'all know I know a lot of people in the, in the industry, uh, a lot of people, uh, you know, I'll be on my job, I'll be out here meeting folks, and I know a lot of people. So I got the Corona shot coming to y'all house Sunday. I'm not taking it. What, what you mean you ain't taking it, bro? What the fuck I ain't is taking it. This I ain't is taking that shit, bro. I'm taking it. My this wife said she ain't taking it. I ain't, I, I'm not taking that shit, bro. My huh? wife, my wife says she ain't doing it. I told her I'm taking it. I, I take it. You got, you got to do. It. I mean, I'm taking it. You want? Hey, before be hey, normal, in my bro. ass cheeks, goddamn it. That that's the, that's where it hurt the least at on your arm or something. But yeah, look, yeah, hey, you know, it's in your arms. They ain't not putting Corona in. All right, all right, okay, so I gotta read this and this right here. And it's and this how this how it goes up. Yeah, this okay, is this was from a group that we are in called Boom Lit. Correct, Don. Right. A uh, real right. quick boom lit. Anybody watching from that group is a very interesting group. Uh, you got about 30 from, hey man, if you don't if you don't read this shit, man, you got thirty seconds. A lot of emojis. <laughs> this is some young folks shit right here, but I'm gonna try to. All right, so this is a basically 2020 summary right here. It says rest in peace, 2020. Peace sign, Bill Cosby still in jail. R. Kelly admitted shit we already knew. The hood still watching fire sticks and selling dinners since cable bills are high and kitty cat sales were low as forty dollars. Not mm-hmm. meaning cats, y'all. We were talking about coochie cat. Um mm-hmm. everybody everyone all of a sudden learned to do credit repair. You see the emoji with the okay. Uh pastors are cursing and eating cat at churches now. Mm. Yeah, oh, um, yeah, pastor, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the kitty cat pastor. Mm-hmm. Um, churches now accept cash app. Females are marrying bisexual men and acting as if she's not aware of it because she's bisexual too. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, all right. Um, people still killing each other, and the police with the police emoji still can't solve a murder. McDonald's ice cream machine is still down. Y'all forgot y'all resolution was to grow your edges and lose weight. Men with no car still got every pair of Jordans. 
People still screaming, sorry for your lost. It's really lost. L O S S. <laughs> okay. Um, MFers had gender reveal parties, but still can't reveal the baby's daddy. <laughs> All right. Uh, you got to stroll up with so. People still don't know the difference between their, their, and their. <laughs> they, they've got all three of the words spelled out because niggas really don't know. I mean, I'm going to be very, I know. Don't be looking at me like that. I know. It's not I mean, it's I probably even like, like really, yeah, I ain't going to lie. I do spell it all over the place, but leave it alone. And want or want. Want uh, and want. Mm -hmm. Want and want. <laughs> right. Megan the style, Megan the stallion. I'm sorry, Megan. I didn't mean to get your name wrong. Megan the stallion is showing thoughts how to follow their dreams with the comment emoji. McConnell won't pass the two thousand dollar mark, and there's still people in bike clubs that don't own motorcycles. But y'all been lit all year. Goodbye, two thousand and twenty. Hey, whoever made that right there was on point with it. Uh, she came from the group that were in Boom Lit. Um, that's some really good, you know, good things to kind of. Hey, did, did, did she make that though? Because of I don't know who made that. I, 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 I got. I, I, I actually, I actually got this shit from Sam. <laughs> no, no, no. Sam got it from me. I'm not trying to take. The yeah, but I seen, I seen you respond yeah, to somebody. I got it from the, the Boom Lit joint that yeah. we in the club. The uh, the group we're in, and I asked the girl who posted. I said, look, I want to, I want to. Uh, Read this on my podcast. I hope it's cool. I don't just do nothing without asking. I ain't, I ain't no clout chaser or be stealing nobody memes or little whatever the hell they be talking Shit, about. I would I would have just read that, Joan, bro. Don, don't give a fuck. Don is going to Don would have read that, Joan. You, you, ain't getting, like, you, can't, you, can't, you can't do shit with me for, to me. Right now, unless it's me. Only, only dude I'm scared of is Jay-Z. Jay-Z would lock your shit up. Oh, yeah. You can't play Jay-Z music, y'all. Listen. <laughs> Jay-Z had your motherfucking page. You can't play Jay-Z music on anybody's podcast, show, he not having it, so find something. I don't think he coming. sold title. Uh, Jay Z recently sold title. Uh, whatever, we not playing this shit on our podcast. Hey, since, since, since we actually went over time, man, I'm a, we 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 gonna give a shout out to the the Joe Clark Joe man that we was. That oh we yeah, was yeah, about. okay. Yeah. Shout out to Joe Lewis, the original. If, you know, uh, Clark is. Yo, Part P Y O our podcast. Listen. No, no, no. Um, if, it was a movie called Lean On Me. Yeah, listen, it was a movie called Lean On Me when Morgan Freeman was young, but he still looked old. Um, and he Morgan Freeman probably was 30 in the goddamn movie, but he still like he was 50. Um, <laughs> but he played uh, the character of Joe Lewis Clark, a teacher who went to a, a, a real rough neighborhood in New the, Jersey. Uh, in New Jersey. And went New to Jersey. A, and went to a high school and completely turned the high school faculty, the basically the town itself around as far as the education of poor young uh, black men, white uh, uh, Latino Latinx, people yeah. living in that in that in society. So mm -hmm. it was a powerful story because he actually cared. It was tough love, you know. He fought against the drug dealers and the gangs and everything. And anybody, remember they, anybody remember anybody remember the high school song? Hell yeah! Remember, still, still from Juice was singing the joint. Which what? Which now? now you, you, you are you talking about the joint they was hitting in the back? Hold on, man. Hey, hey, let's close, let's close, let's close out to the lean on me. All right, hey. no, who was the group hey. in the bathroom? Was still was it Troop or was it um? No, no. Oh, um, come on now, y'all old, y'all old like I am. God damn it! Oh so, man, I can't who, remember. Who was the group that sung that joint with uh still in the bathroom? That was true. It was true, right? Come on, man, that's that's true. Shit, man. I don't think that. I don't think that was was it true. Like history, my yeah, old army groups and shit. I think that was a uh, surface. Who? Surface. But it wasn't. Did you say surface? Who the fuck was surface? This nigga making up names. Look at this. This nigga making up names, dog. So he got he got me questioning now. Look, I got to figure out who. We got to look that group up because I think that same group was in um New Jack City. Yeah. No, New Jack City was uh, Gerald LeGroup, LeVert. That was, that was right. Gerald LeVert. No, nah, but they had two moments when they were singing by the fire, though, remember? Come on now. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, either or, rest in peace, Joe Clark, man. That was a very powerful movie. Uh, it was based on two stars, man. That, man. That, you know, that could go to show you right there. Cardi would get off that bullshit, man.
It's a new year. I'm trying to figure out who that 2021. Is. Who you think gonna be the next black art uh black actor to get an Oscar? Predict something. Oh, listen, the name of the group was Riff. I know it wasn't uh was the name of the group was called Riff R I F F. Oh, oh Rift. Rift. Hey, Rift is the name of the group. Mm -hmm. It's not what it's all Rift. Okay. I That's what was I was just saying. Hey, you, hey, hey. Said, who you got over there working with you, Steph? I heard that. I heard that. Look, you got a man. I thought it was true. I thought that was him. I thought that was Nah, it wasn't true. When I seen it, I was like, nah, that's not true. I always thought that. I got a beautiful. Nubian princess over the joint with me, queen with me. You know what I'm saying? So she know. I think she used the yeah. Google too. Go yeah, yeah, Riff. That's yeah. who it was Riff. But yeah, that yeah. was the face. Hey, when he went to the back. Hey, you remember that was going to be shit in the bathroom, nigga? Hey, Steph. Yes. Yo, that so was. Me and shit. Yeah. Hey, boy, shit. What, what, what you going on, boy? Yeah, that's what he went up. Miss, when she, the, uh, he went to, with the black lady. He went there. Did you tell him to change the song? Did you tell him to change the alma mater of this song? <laughs> and she was like, the kids said it was both. Who told you to change the song? Oh, he was mean and hey. shit. Ass, we all, shit was, we all got hey. granddaddies like that. Granddaddy mean as a motherfucker, boy. Morgan Freeman played that one. He played Mr. Donnell, Mr. Donnell, did I tell you to move and pick up that piece of paper? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Donnell. Hey, that hey, was the joke. Right? We're going to watch that movie. Don, we going out on the song or what, baby? What we going to do? Are you, we we going to sing it? Oh, I ain't singing shit, nigga. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not singing I thought, I thought, hey. I thought we I thought yeah, we were yeah, all right. right. I thought we were all 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 right. I thought we Hey, I was saying hey, like I, 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 I was singing the shit, but I don't yeah. know the words. Oh, yeah, I don't know the words. I, I know the I know the yeah. harmony part. Of, I just know the, the harmony, of, but I just don't know the actual words. Like I about to sing that shit, but yeah. It's man. fair east side lives our heart. I think it's lift our hearts and heads and all will praise thy name. Hey, there there we go. go right there. That's the song, baby. That's the song. Hey, look, that's the dude. He played the movies too. The dude, yeah. right there, the singer, the dark mm -hmm. skin dude, the singer. Yeah, that's who I was thinking of for true, but that ain't even I him. Man. That's dude for too. Yeah. yeah. The little one with the you head. Didn't give me no lyrics. No, she was trying to give me lyrics and shit. No. There you go. Look at still. Jerry Curl. There you go. Oh. Yeah, you look at that, you motherfucker! What? 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 Dude in the red to shoot you. Oh. <laughs> Who talked to that boy? Pick up, pick up. I think you didn't do it yourselves. Sam. What? Yeah, what? Who talked to this song? Oh, man, Steel. When he say you been smoking crack, you been smoking crack, boy. Same. Powers, eh? Mrs. Powers. Come Who told you to change the name, Mrs. Powers? <laughs> Uh, hey, that's hey that was a classic. <laughs> but um, yeah, the real live Joe Clark, rest in peace, bro. He died. Right, man. Right, man. Away, man. Hey, up, I didn't, e I didn't even know that shit was based on him for real. I ain't even. Yeah, know that was a real story. Yeah, I, I, I got a good buddy that. of mine who went to Patterson High School and who knew the dude. Uh, good barber of mine, Ron, out here in Laurel. Ron G, what to do, Ron G? He went to high school with the dude, man. Good, you know, said number good yeah, things. Man. About him. That was a real story, man. That was a real story. Rest but in um, peace, hey. Bro. No, we got to take it up out of here, man. Once yeah, man. Again, happy, happy New Year's to, to everybody, man. Even y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? New Year's. Happy New Year's to my brothers, man. You know, I, I, got, I, got, I got this thing I always say, man. Every New Year's, man. Don't don't be the first statistic of the year. 
That's all. That, that that's how that's how I always carry it every New Year's, man. So I like that. Uh, don't be, the, don't be the, uh, or don't be a big dummy. You big As dummy. Man, Red Fox would say you big dummy. Yeah, stay. Like I said, everybody in lockdown, man. COVID got motherfuckers scared to go celebrate New Year's. They're like, look, no, I'm gonna get. No, hey, bro, no, let's hold. No, it don't. I got people <laughs> here right now who are out partying. My no, man, they, they, they going to the club. They party. I was like, what? Mm-mm. He was like, yeah. I told him be safe. He said, bro, out in Florida, we got that vitamin D in the sunlight. We good. Mm. Y'all do. Y'all okay. do. Yeah, we right, see. We see what's all, been going on with Florida. Let me sip this. I already told I already told you that they uh, even down south in South Carolina they moving down. Yeah, down. I, down I, south, they yeah, 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 yeah. One of my, yeah, yeah, one of my homies from um down there, he was telling me the other day. I said, I told you, man. He said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think it's not a game, guys? It's not a game. Hey, thank you. Happy everybody, everybody. man. I love y'all. Oh, excuse me. Love y'all. Love y'all, man. Hey, happy New Year's, yeah. everybody. Watch the uh, Fuck Your Peanut Podcast. Check it out on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Subscribe. Check us out. 2021, we're going to come with the same show, not this, but, with but different hey, content. It's going to be a better year, Dan. And listen, we always got to remember that the sky blue, water's wet, God is good. Wash your hands, wash your ass, and tune in next week, goddammit. Mm.